I've heard a lot of guys talk about how crazy it was going out drinking with Andre. Did you ever go partying with him? And what was it like? No, I never went out partying with Andre. What held you off from that? I was wise. <laughs> yeah, DiBiase tells a story about him going to a restaurant with Andre. And Andre said, do you have a big trash can back there? And the waitress is like, yeah. He's like, empty it and fill it with beer. And I, I guess he drank almost all of it. Yeah. Man, wild. When is the, the first time that you met Andre? Was it before the WWF? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I met him uh, 19. Oh, my gosh. Probably 1976, 74. Wow. Yeah. So that was before you were an active wrestler. Yeah, just as I was I was refereeing at the time. Okay. And uh good first experience with him or what was that yeah, like? They, they gave me the job of driving him around. No shit. And uh they gave me a van to drive that had a big beanbag chair in the back of it. <laughs> and that's where Andre sit. <laughs> so after the show, I said, uh, you need anything? Beer. Uh, okay. <laughs> So I, I went to a, uh, to a convenience store and I said, what do you want? And he goes, two cases. Man. I said, wait a minute, Andre. It's only 90 miles to, to the hotel. Two cases. Okay. So I got him two cases and I got me a six pack. And I started driving. Well, hell, after, after a couple of beers, I had to piss, man. Mm -hmm. so I pulled over and pissed. You know, wound up pissing one more time before we got to the hotel. But what really pissed me off was I had to clean out the van and every damn beer was done. Wow. He drank he drank 48 beers in miles. Holy shit. But that's not what really pissed me off. What pissed me off was he never got out to piss. Not once. Not once, man. Drink all that fucking beer and didn't have to pee. What the fuck? The fuck's his, his bladder must be the size of a fucking small Volkswagen. <laughs> Holy shit. And he didn't piss himself on the beanbag chair or anything? Oh, man, I checked. I checked. That is insane. Yeah, it was, man. Wow. Uh, did you have to drive him on numerous occasions or just one and done? Just one and done. And probably enough after cleaning up that mess. Oh, yeah. Besides your WWE Hall of Fame induction, what's the biggest honor you have ever received? I think the biggest honor I ever received other than that was when Vince came to me and asked me to work with Andre. Wow. You know, that was a huge, huge honor for me to even be considered for that spot you know I mean my god here, here's here's a guy that's been on top his whole life and uh, now they're asking me to go out there and, and make a match awesome you know and uh, I think we did for the most part you and know I because I do the social media and stuff, I get to see a lot of, you know, comments your way of like, hey, this is my favorite angle you did. And oh, I love this feud. And like most of the time it circles back to you and Andre. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty strong stuff. Uh, how weird was it or surreal was it for you as a guy who you like as a essentially a kid fresh out of high school, you were driving Andre the Giant around and now you're working at a fucking WrestleMania with the yeah. guy. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it, man. I couldn't believe it, man. It just mind blowing, you know, and at this point, you know, of course, you've grown up in the business. You've been around wrestlers your whole life. You're not marking out for probably anybody, but I bet that that's about as close as you came. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was definitely marked out over him. 